time was of the essence. If a saber tooth didn't kill quietly and above all quickly, it would attract the attention of a whole range of other monster predators that would have been trying to steal its prey. A single saber tooth might have been able to scare a small number of dire wolves off one of their kills, but that situation would be completely reversed if a large pack of wolves attacked a Smilodon on a kill. And there were even more formidable foes, such as the massive American lion, which may have been 50% bigger than even a Smilodon. And then the gargantuan short-faced bear, which stood 11 feet on its back legs, the biggest and most threatening carnivore in the land. This monster seems to have been a specialized thief that earned its keep by intimidating other predators into giving up their kills. The short-faced bear was so big that even if it was facing off against several saber-toothed cats on a kill, the outcome was in little doubt. The saber-toothed cats went hungry. Smilodon, formidable as it was, was not the biggest kid on the block. So to, to be able to kill that big animal quickly has a whole range of potential advantages. And, and to my mind at least, that is what Smilodon was all about. <laughs>